Hi, life cycle assessment is a technique for assessing the potential environmental aspect and potential aspect associated with a product and provided a comprehensive view of the environmental aspect. Why life cycle is a major activity during the product lifespan from its manufacturing, use and maintenance to its final disposal, including the raw material acquisitions. This relate with LCA by analyze which stage of product life cycle that give impact to a human health or environment. LCA involve four stages, which is goal and scope definition, inventory analysis, impact assessment, and interpretation. For a better understanding of LCA, let's take a look on Amer daily life. Amer is riding a bus to his workplace that apart 10 kilometers from his house. However, little that he knows, the bus that he rode emits greenhouse gases like nitrogen oxide, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. This is because the incomplete combustion of fossil fuel like diesel could release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, which cause of global warming and melting ice caps that leads to rising of sea levels and flooding. Meanwhile, exposure to diesel emission can cause asthma and breathing difficulties. What if the diesel bus is substituted with hydrogen fuel cell bus? Let's take a look on LCA of carbon footprint between diesel bus and hydrogen fuel cell HFC bus. Wait, before that, carbon footprint is the sum of greenhouse gas emission and product removal in the system. Based on the case study conducted at bus road number 2 in Taiwan City, Taiwan, shows that the use of HFC bus could reduce carbon dioxide emission in Taiwan City for about 1,244,000 tons. Firstly, LCA goal and scope definition discuss about the environmental benefits between diesel bus and HFC bus. This involves the life cycle boundary from cradle to grave that divided into four phases, which is raw material acquisition, manufacturing stage, bus service stage, and waste disposal stage. Secondly, inventory analysis that highlight the total carbon emission between DC bus and HFC bus at each life cycle stage, especially fuel manufacturing stage and bus service stage. Thirdly, LCIA shows that diesel bus contribute 71.14% of carbon footprint account in bus service stage. However, HFC bus abundantly release greenhouse gases at fuel manufacturing stage with the carbon emission for about 85.75% of total life cycle carbon footprint. Fourthly, the interpretation stage shows the DC bus will decrease by 25.43 grams of carbon dioxide carbon footprint per passenger kilometer when replaced with HFC bus with 47% reduction of DC bus carbon footprints. Hence, hydrogen energy is better compared to diesel as it can reduce maximum carbon emission during the entire life cycle of buses. That's all about LCA. Hope that you get a better understanding. Bye!